Hi, my name is Coke with BlackFilm.com. I'm here with Tyler Lepley, the star of the Amazon original. Harlem, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for being here with me. Tyler, so your character, Ian, um, it's very interesting because with this character, we have some initial impressions and some yeah. different impressions as time goes on. Um, what's yeah. your take on how he's progressed or how he will um, progress? Yeah, he, you know, he, he progresses in a way that's necessary. You know, the one thing about Ian is he's, he's, in, he's a man in process trying to figure out who he is and what he wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it takes, you know, like, like my girl always say, you got, you got to, you got to taste the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? You can't just sit here and look at it all. You got to figure out what it is that, that you're doing and what your purpose is here, you mm -hmm. know, what you're here for. So I think he's got his life, he's got his life figured out. Um, you know, he got the ring for his girl. He's got this long, long relationship and, you know, it kind of, you know, through the conflict, it kind of crumbles as he chases his dream over in Paris, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. but doing that allows him to come back to Harlem and introduce a piece of Paris to Harlem. So it's like, it's this like, it's this cycle where he's trying to figure out who he is. So mm -hmm. in that process, you'll probably see different, you know, different aspects of him, depending on what episode you're on. Mm -hmm. And um, and I watched the show. I think it's really great. And I guess everybody has their lens and even their baggage. Yeah. So, <laughs> are you yeah, firmly sure. are you firmly okay with being regarded as either a hero or a villain? Like, are you ready for what's about to happen? Because there's a lot <laughs> with your character. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, <laughs> you know, whatever box, whatever box the audience you know tries to put me in, that's you know that's on that's on them. But mm -hmm. you know, the hero and the villain is like, they're just both opposites. They're opposite sides of the same spectrum. One thing I love about Ian mm -hmm. is that, um, you know, there's a juxtaposition there. You know, on one hand, <clears throat> you know, there's this, uh, there's this strength, there's this, uh, there's this passion, there's this vir like virility, if you will. Um, on the flip side, he's an artist, he's, he's vulnerable, he's open. You know, it's like, there's a rigid side, there's a fluid side. So mm -hmm. I feel like there's this great juxtaposition of who he is. Now, whatever lens they want to look at it through, you know, that's on them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was just my job to make him, you know, like fully human. Mm -hmm. I think what I like about the show, though they focus on the four women, the, the sort of the main characters and the relationship yeah. around it. But this show, I do believe it's very accessible and it's not just a show for just say the girl, so to speak. This is a show mm -hmm. where everybody can, and, and it's going to be almost like being at a sports bar. It's going to be people on this side and that side. Yeah. It's going to be a whole lot of conversations. What's it like to be part of something where you kind of can some, somewhat even really kind of predict the, um, the reception? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great analogy because we know how it is at the sports bar. I know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's, it's great. Like, I, you know, and, and I've been talking about it, like, you know, being a, you know, being black is not this monochromatic thing. It's not one experience, you know? So, you know, yeah, we're strong, but we're vulnerable too, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, you know, wherever our audience wants to, wherever they want to jump in and, and, and connect to is, is okay. Because what I think we have in Harlem is a full spectrum of what that experience is like. Mm -hmm. And Tracy Oliver just did such a good job of writing it. And I think, the, you know, the four ladies and myself did a, did a good job of just fleshing it out and turning that, you know, bringing a third dimension to it. Mm -hmm. really bring it to life. No, you guys really didn't. There are some really realistic scenarios that I really appreciate. What was it like also working opposite someone like Megan Good, who's been just a really, really consistent, strong actor for a very long yeah. time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, you know, one thing about Megan is that she's she's accessible as an artist. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We can ping pong ideas off of each other and really come, come together and, and uh, you know, collaborate in terms of bringing a, a real scene to life. Mm -hmm. um, she's lots of fun to be around. You know, we we've done ran lines over over, you know, drinks and dinner. And we didn't you know, we can turn up together. But on the flip side, like the foundation of, of who she is, is just a very talented, hardworking, diligent artist, which is why she's been able to curate this this, uh, you know, this career over over so many years. So it's Absolutely. been it's been such a pleasure to work along. Um, you know, I, ca I call it like a living legend. You know what I'm saying? No, I, we, we all legends do. are gone to calm that. But she's really she's really that. Mm -hmm. So it's been great. That's great. That's great to also to hear that from, from you, of course. You've been on a really, really strong trajectory. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I'm, again, I'm speaking with Tyler Lepley. He is the star of the Amazon original Harlem. Thank you. And Harlem is coming out December 3rd, um, Friday. And you guys got yeah. to stream it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Great Take care, man. You. Great talking okay, to you. Too. If you want to see more content like this on blackfilm.com, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell.